All right, so today is build the battery enclosement day. So last week we built the battery, we tied them all together, made sure that they were electrically what we thought they were, which ends up being about 50, about 54 volts or so. So we tied all the batteries together with bus bars and polished them and put everything together. Now we have to build a little stand. So Michelle made this little drawing and we have a cut list and we have we went to the metal store and bought a bunch of metal to make this little contraption so the project for today is to go ahead and try to weld this up and see if we can get this to work So we've cut all our metal. So we've cut most of the pieces um, to the right length. And now um, I went to the hardware store and bought a big bag of hardware because some of the places are gonna need to be bolted. So it's gonna need to be bolted down into the area where it's gonna sit through the floor and, it's, and the wood is gonna be bolted down um, through the uh, sort of through the floor and then through some of the other small pieces. Most of it, however, will be welded together. So most of it's going to be welded, but some is going to require bolt, uh, some bolts. And so we've picked up bolts and now we're kind of drilling holes where we think those bolts will go. So the next step is to drill all the holes, get them all cleaned up, and then start doing a mock-up and see how it's all going to work. When that's all done, then we'll start welding it up. So we put the battery in here and we've built this little framework. Um, so the plan is to put this framework into the bus and then to bolt this framework down uh, into the bus and then slide the battery in here. This will have a top on it. The other module will rest on top and be bolted onto the top. This module will be bolted into the bottom. So you have to excuse my voice, I've caught a little bit of a cold. but. Um, we've just tacked this together, just real simple tack welds, and so now we'll go ahead and fully weld it all up um, and get it ready to, uh, to kind of support the other battery structure.
That one wasn't too bad. Alright, so this is our battery structure. Um, it's not exactly square and it's not exactly even, but it's cl very close. Um, we've spent a good part of yesterday and today kind of planning and welding this up and revising the planning and revising the welds. Anyway, um, you'll have to excuse my voice, I actually full on got a cold. So the bottom battery is going to slide in here. So this will all slide into the, com the battery compartment. The battery will slide into here. The top battery will sit on top of a piece of plywood here and will be bolted down to this frame up here. And then on the ends, um, we have some bolt holes and these will bolt right into there and sort of compress the battery just a little bit. And these holes right here are cutouts for for the uh, nuts that go all the way through the entire pack. So those should keep it in place both front to back and side to side. This whole thing will be bolted through the bottom um, under this piece of plywood. Um, we can see we've made provisions to, to mount the entire thing to the bus. So hopefully it'll be nice and secure. Um, we think we've kind of overbuilt it. The battery really only weighs 200 pounds. The one on top and the one on the bottom is just basically supported by the by the bus board. So hopefully, uh, um, hopefully it'll work out and um, we'll get our battery in there and then we'll uh, we'll provide an update. All right. So working on the electrical today. Um, this is the cage we had built to uh, to support the battery. So there's going to be two modules: one on top, one on the bottom. Um, we went ahead and got it powder coated orange because we thought it might look kind of neat. Um, so we got it back from the powder coater a few weeks ago, but we've been busy doing other stuff. But now we're going to go ahead and, and stick it in. So the plan is to have this, have the two batteries on it. Um, those two batteries will then feed an inverter. So we have a Victron 48 volt, uh, 5,000 watt inverter. And then there's a charge controller in the bay as well. And that's a 250 85. Uh, Victron as well. Um, we also have an air conditioner in there because all this stuff is supposed to be air conditioned apparently. So we've stuck a air conditioner in the bay and so we're going to go ahead and test fit all this stuff. So we're going to, we've already mounted the Victron inverter and the charge controller. Now we're going to put the battery in. We've kind of started making plans for how we're going to lay out the cabling inside the bay. All right, so we're down in the bay. Um, this area here is where we've designated to be our electrical base. So in the back, we can see we've mounted the AC. The hot part is on the other side and there'll be a wall that kind of closes off the two. So as you can see, it's a pretty tight fit. So this is our, this is our inverter here on the, on the wall. And then the charge controller is actually back in the back. So um, what we've kind of decided is um, the battery that's going to sit on this rack uh, weighs about 400 pounds. So it's going to be difficult to get it in there and stuff. So what we've decided is to wire up as much of this as we can before so we don't have to try and go in there and, and try to reach the charge controller and, and try to reach um, any of this stuff. We also have a BMS um, that's going to be plugged into every cell of the battery. So that's going to have, I think, 15 wires um, coming off of it or some, more than that because it's got temperature sensors and um, a shunt and all kinds of stuff that need to be wired in. So our plan for now, and this is subject to change like everything else, is mount the battery in here and then maybe put a wall here kind of covering the battery and then on this wall we would mount the various components. So we've got a bunch of breakers and fuses and um, contactors and the BMS and all that kind of stuff. We tried to fit, we'll try to fit that um, on this piece of wood that we'd, that we'd have um, standing up here. 
So that's the plan for now. We'll see how far we get with it.